We have a question on my Instagram feed from Anthony. He says, what skills distinguish the best coaches from every other coach? From my experience, from what I've seen, from what I've talked, uh, and just, just from pure knowledge, the best coaches seem to have this ability to take the fundamentals, the basics, and pound them down your throat. <laughs> Uh, so, the, 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 so the one side is this, the ability to do higher repetitions, lots and lots and lots and lots of reps with the, the fundamental things. In American football, block, tackle, ball control, discus throw, you're going to throw the discus. And to stick with it and stick with it and stick with it and have the courage to continue to stick with it. Having said that, the other side that I've seen from great coaches is that they prepare their athletes for what I call special situations. Now, I'm best at this with American football because I know the game so well. But there's a play in American football that you might have to do once a season, once a career. It's called take a safety. You might practice that a few times and never use it. But if you don't, you can't just run on the field and say take a safety. Uh, on on my birthday, right at we'd been married about a year, uh, we lost a football game because... Um, and, and, you know, all the, we, we did this kick on the kickoff, and we had a good plan for it, and it went wrong. And my wife got on us because she was up in the stands, and everyone was complaining about how terrible of a coaching staff we were. And it hurt my feelings. And it was only a few years later that I realized, it wasn't the kicker's fault. It was my fault. We had never practiced that kick before. So what you need to do is, as, so good coach, focus on fundamentals. And then they focus on special situations. I train my athletes what to do if they have two fouls. How to throw if you have two fouls. And the, the last throw is make or break. Um, I teach my athletes to, we, we train in all kinds of conditions. Uh, in fact, uh, we probably train more in the snow than any uh, program I know. Because if it does snow at a big meet, we're going to be ready. Um, I, I'm always reminded about Dwight Stone, who but he was an American high jumper, and he guaranteed he'd get a gold medal at the 76 Olympics unless it rained. Well, it rained. The guy who won had been practicing in rain. So there you go. Uh, so two sides. An absolute mastery of the fundamentals, and the other side is understanding special situations. Oddly, if you do those two, two things well, almost everything else takes care of itself.